Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa had a telephone call with Jordan's King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein. His Majesty the King extended deepest condolences to the Jordanian monarch on the death of His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Talal, praying to the Almighty to rest the deceased soul in eternal peace and give His Majesty the King of Jordan, the Royal Jordanian family and the Jordanian people solace and fortitude. Bahrain joins the international community in observing the International Workers' Day, marked worldwide on May the 1st, being an opportunity to highlight workers' achievements and contributions to the nation building and development, as well as to affirm their pivotal role in the three production parties. The workers play a major role in facing the exceptional challenge resulting from the coronavirus pandemic. The representatives of the Shura and representative councils express their pride in the labor process in the Kingdom of Bahrain, praising the national role that workers adopt in achieving comprehensive national development. Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzia bint Abdullah Zainal, expressed pride in the royal patronage enjoyed by the workers of the Kingdom of Bahrain from His Majesty the King. She expressed appreciation for the keenness of the government, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, in providing all means support for the workers and emphasize on maintaining their rights and job stability. She lauded the government's keenness to support workers, affirm their rights and professional stability, wishing further development, progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The chairman of the Shura Council, Mr. Ali bin Saleh al-Saleh, affirmed that the advanced national legislation in which the Kingdom of Bahrain is protecting and preserving the rights of all workers in the public and private sectors and constitutes a motivation and an incentive for them to give and sincerely in order to contribute to the progress of the Kingdom of Bahrain. He praised the Kingdom's efforts to fight the coronavirus pandemic thanks to the directives of His Majesty the King. He lauded the efforts of the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus, commending the unrelenting follow-up of His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, on all the steps and procedures to ensure the safety of citizens and residents. The Surah Council Chairman said that the Council will spare no effort in supporting legislation that enhances the rights of workers and specifies their duties. The Labour and Social Development Minister, Mr. Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamedan, extended gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on behalf of all the workers and their trade unions in the Kingdom. Mr. Hamedan praised His Majesty the King's unlimited support for workers and keenness to patronize the Kingdom's celebrations of the International Workers' Day to honor outstanding workers in various production sectors. The Minister confirmed His Majesty the King's unwavering support for workers' rights and keenness to increase their gains, citing the royal kind gesture to ensure the wages and professional stability of workers during the spread of the coronavirus pandemic without affecting their rights in this regard. He lauded the economic procedures taken by the Kingdom to maintain the stability of the labour market thanks to His Majesty King Hamad's sound directives, pledging that the Labour Ministry, as one of the production parties, will continue enhancing cooperation and solidarity in order to support the stability and growth of the labor market as well as provide more job opportunities for the citizens and support these social development projects. The minister prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty the King and bless him with abundant health and wellness as to continue the comprehensive development march in the kingdom and bring about more landmark achievements for the nation. The Kingdom of Bahrain has announced it will be sending medical equipment and oxygen to support India's efforts to combat COVID-19. The decision was taken by Bahrain's cabinet and reflects the Kingdom's commitment to supporting its allies. The government expressed its solidarity with India and stressed its readiness to support international efforts to combat COVID-19. The Kingdom of Bahrain's Parliamentary Division, participating in the 7th Global Conference of Young Parliamentarians, affirmed that the Kingdom has adopted an integrated and proactive governmental approach to dealing with the repercussions of the COVID-19 pandemic. The approach contributed to limiting the spread of the virus among individuals and preventing damage to various sectors, thanks to the care and attention that the health sector receives from His Majesty the King. Furthermore, 
The constant leadership and direction of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister provided the necessary capabilities utilized by the government to provide the highest levels of health and medical care services to citizens and residents. The statement was made by the division during the session titled Young People Enjoying Good Health After the COVID-19 Pandemic and Economic Empowerment Turning a Challenge into an Opportunity within the work of the 7th Global Conference of Young Parliamentarians organized by the Inter-Parliamentary Union. The Labor Inspection Directorate at the Labor Market Regulatory Authority has carried out in cooperation with a number of government departments a joint campaign on commercial registrations in the Capital Governorate to verify their compliance with the provisions of the LMRA law as well as health and municipal requirements. The LMRA affirmed that it shall continue carrying out joint inspection campaigns out of its belief in the importance of cooperation with various government entities in addressing the phenomenon of illegal workers as well as violations of the labor market and municipal and health requirements so as to maintain a work environment that enjoys a high degree of competitiveness and stability. The authority called on the public to report violations of labor market and irregular workers through contacting LMRA's call center. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 693,423 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, of which 514,747 took the second dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 10,360 with 1,024 recoveries, 1,182 registered new cases. 451 of the new registered cases are expatriates. 701 are contacts of active cases and 30 are travel related. The ministry announced today the death of two expatriate males aged 59 and 57 from COVID-19 and expressed its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.